um, my recent over the board tournament. Um, I took a half point buy in the first round and um, today played two games, uh, lost the first one, lost the second one. I'm like, wow, but it's the way that I lost, you know, um, again, I'm, just, I'm not beating myself up about it. Uh, I don't even need to evaluate the games because at the end of the day, I know what I did wrong in the games, you know, um, but it was a pleasant, it was like a, almost like a pleasant loss. If you can have a pleasant loss, um, it wasn't excruciating. It was one of those where you go, well, you know, I know I should have done that better. Um, but we still played out and tried to stretch it out, hoping that the opponent maybe made a mistake or something like that. So I still really enjoyed the games. Now, I think that is one of those learning things that chess players either learn to grasp hold of. I mean, look at the likes of Magnus Carlsen. I mean, in the Tata Steel thing, he lost two games in a row and that was like unprecedented for him, you know? Um, not that I'm comparing myself to Magnus Carlsen, but if you look at the higher end of things, the, the higher level players lose games too. You know, they don't win every game that they play. And I think the reality has to set in for normal people such as myself in that expectation of well you know everyone thinks that you should be winning all the games you know just because you like run a streaming channel or something or the other and um, and that is so not true it's not viable in any way shape or form everybody loses at chess you know and um, it's as simple as that and it's how you then move on from there do you continue playing or do you just go well okay i'll just stay in my little corner and play people that i can beat type thing and um, for me as we've seen throughout the development of my um little mini sort of channel it's really about just looking to improve the game see if i can do it differently uh, next time and these small things are all helping to develop my game and it does make me feel a lot stronger playing the games and I enjoy them more because I have my own sort of rationale as to what is actually going on in the games. So is that I'm going to take the bish anyway? Hmm. His other pawn's going to come down so he's really fighting isn't he? He's really fighting so we could go... Hmm. If we take, he takes, then we take his pawn. Pawns in front of the king. I don't think there's much, but there's not much compensation really, is there? It's an even exchange after all that. Yeah. Okay, let's go look. Let's go with that. Probably did it the wrong way around, but uh, let's just take this. really concentrating but uh, yeah so the loss aspect losing in games losing over the board you know um, you have to respect the players that are playing in there you know if you've lost because and you've done really bad move and it wasn't the opponent's skills then you know fair dues but um, if you've lost because the opponent was quite skillful they've got a little bit more knowledge they they focused and put it in then at the end of the day you got to respect that, haven't you? Let's attack this pawn. This rook's coming here to get our pawn here. We won't be able to take it, obviously, because this rook's going to be safe as ours is. Just jump in here, maybe, attacking the pawn as well, sorry. So, yeah, because it's... Oh, what's all this about? It's attacking here. There's nothing there at the minute. What's that? Why did he not just go for the pawn? Maybe he's thinking the knight was coming here, he didn't want to get squished. Hmm. Queen could come here, 2 on 1. What's the rook doing all in the way in that corner there? I'm not too sure what that is. He can always come back because he's got the support of the pawn. Yeah, so two interesting games. 
because in the last um, tournament, uh, over the board tournament, we didn't do too bad. Um, so again, was it 50-50 on that one or something? So the, in both games, it was a matter of not taking... Oh, is there doubling up? I don't think there's a right lot that we can... Knight can jump here attacking the pawn. So I still don't know what the rook's doing there. So we'll come and attack the pawn in the meantime. We're actually plus one, strange as it may seem. Was it a mouse slip, do you think? The rook going all the way across here. Or is there something I'm not seeing? Queen comes here, attacking the knight, then he's got the x-ray through. Well, he's got the... keep messing my um, arrows up. Okay, right, so the queen's gone there, st stopping this, but the knight can jump here. Queen can go for an exchange. We are attacking this pawn. Would have been a nice little hit. Okay. So it looks like we're putting pressure on, but uh, just going to hit the rook. It'll go to the space that it wants to get to in the first place and then go back and get the pawn. Could hit the queen, king, sorry. If it does do that. No, not, we couldn't actually. We couldn't. It'd have to take the pawn first. So lessons learned from the two over the board games today, um, I would really say I have to really believe and trust in my calculations because in both games I had done what I thought was brilliant calculations. I actually said, well, if I do it this way, then really we're just squishing them and they're going to have to be the one that tries to open up space. They're going to give us pieces. But then I went, no, let's simplify. You know, um, we simplify too much and then that put us in a, a kind of a bad situation um, later on in the game. So, got to trust the calculation. I did it. To me, it was really nice calculation. Uh, well, what's happening here? So he's staying on that line because he doesn't want the knight coming here, but the knight can still put the check on, but the rook comes down. Anything else? Obviously he's taking the pawn. He looks skittish about taking the pawn. I don't know why. Why he didn't come here and stuff. He's still wanting this here for some reason. Uh, wrong rook. Let's x-ray through to the queen. Because we're plus one anyway, we've resigned ourselves to the fact this pawn's going anyway, so we don't need to spend any time messing with that. Some would say, you probably should have jumped there. Can't go there now because the king is supporting. Get a check on the king. Throw this up, get the rook, but because he can't go there, so he's probably going to go here so that there's no check on his king. Yep, okay, so we can still hit the rook anyway. Rook's still chomping at the bit for this pawn, so okay, let's be on the queen. Rook x ray through, discover check on the queen. Queen is looking towards here because this rook is chomping at the bit to make something of this area here. Queen can take the pawn, rook can come here, but the queen will take, so we could look to double up. What's he going to do? Trying to come here, to come here, he can't come straight there, so that's going to be a while. 
I could say the queen could take, but maybe the rook comes up and challenges in readiness for doubling up. I'll double him up here. Let's keep it simple. And drag across. So, oh yeah, so he's, like we said, he's gonna try and squeeze here or he's trying to come around here to get a back rank checkmate type thing. Let's just bump this up. And then maybe we can give him the fright of his life somehow. Boom, 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 that's a lot of moves. Or boom, but there, but then that's a lot of moves again. But then we can go kablam. Oh, come on. That's not right, is it? That's not cricket, is it? We'll have, we have to go here because if he drops here, we still have the same sort of situation though. We can go blam here, he goes here. Well, we brought the rook there, so that's fine. So he's going to be taking off pawns, but still, we'll get a few checks on him with the queen. Yeah, so he's just going for the greedy munch now. Going for the greedy munch, but really, I don't think they should have been. Let's go here. Has to go here. Oh, mind you, no, I can go behind there, but then he's checkmated. He's put himself in a mating net. Let's no, let's let's do some science here. Let's do some science. Not going to have time to go up with the rook. So it looks like he's getting a draw. If there's nothing else, I'm happy with the draw. I'm not fussed either way, really. Now, just um, backwards and forwards. They'll probably be a bit miffed. But uh, is there anything different? The rook can't really get up because I suppose it can move the king round, round. But I don't want. He's just going to put checks, 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 and end up being a draw anyway. I don't think there's anything else. Let's go backwards and forwards. Let's go. And a draw it is. Excellent.